and welcome back to the greatest show on earth. I'm Angel. I'm Junior. That's Poppers. We're going to be going over Speak No Evil. Starring James McAvoy. And um, other people as well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, James McAvoy is the main person that I know from this movie. Everybody else, I wouldn't be able to tell you first name basis. But we are going to be doing a non-spoiler and spoiler review. So make sure you stay to the very end, at least to the non-spoiler review, so we can let you know if you guys should go watch this in the movies, in streaming, or just not watch it at all. What do you guys want to start with? Oh, the letter oh, yes. baby. I know. <laughs> Look, I know you guys know Daniel's not here. He's been a busy boy. That's so awesome. it's just me and Angel, which we've been yeah. doing for a lot of the summer. So it's okay. <laughs> the power of friendship. <laughs> well, like, mermaid man and barnacle boy well, unite. <laughs> and then it yeah, hey, if you guys want to check out our Instagrams, we have a lot of barnacle boy and uh, mermaid yeah, man. Halloween is coming up, so keep an eye out for the costume. Keep costumes. an eye out. A ver, a ver que hacemos. Yeah, a ver que we got a lot of plans. We do this year. Maybe we do two things. Uh, <laughs> Maybe I'm down. Yeah, but letter grade. Uh, I'm gonna give this a B plus personally for personally. myself. Yeah, letter grade. Um, I think I told you that when I was walking out of the theater, um, a solid B. Okay. So I uh, respectable. Respectable. Well, obviously yeah, we'll get into it course. later, but yeah, B plus, B uh, solid B. Cinema score gives it a B plus. Now we do have the critics who give it an eighty five percent, and the popcorn meter, which is the new uh, thing that tomato it's a meter new rating meter for the audience, yeah, is also an eighty five percent. So uh, they're they pretty much really like the movie. We're, yeah, we're all right there. Yeah. that B solid B B plus. Rank. It's a good movie. I really do think it's a good movie. I really do want to tell you guys about the uh, remake because this is a remake. I don't know if you know. Yes, I saw that once I looked it up. Oh but. fuck! I was gonna. Uh, well, it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna talk about that later on, but. Everybody's in the B range. I do think it's a good movie. Uh, it's a solid movie. I think that the horror, the thriller, everything of it, like when they came together. I know there's a big meme out there because the, the dude, the trailer. Which one? Dude, no, it's just the, I mean, that's all I saw, like, the whole year is the trailer for the movie, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. And, like, everybody was, yeah. like, I like I finally saw a movie, I'm free from the trailer. And I'm, like, same. From every other movie out there, I'm surprised that, like, this is the only, like, I don't know. I, th I think marketing is weird for me because it's weird that, like, I saw this trailer so many times. And, like, Venom 3 or whatever, I never seen a trailer until last week, until until this movie. Yeah. So this is the first time I was watching the trailers. It's like, Venom 3 is coming out next month? I already knew it was coming out, but like this is the first time I saw yeah, a trailer. Yeah, we actually it. remembered. Like, oh, yeah. Ben, like, uh, Speak No Evil, I was like, dude, since January, I feel like I've seen this trailer. You yeah. know? It's just a little weird. I'm just saying. You know, not to spoil it too much. Yeah. We'll get into that, obviously, later. But I think this movie suffers from the same fate that uh, Blink Twice did, where it had that potential. To have an A, but he was missing that little pizzazz. I'll we'll get into that later. Yeah, we will. We will. We do have the awards <laughs> that are coming up. I think every movie that's just awards is award season, baby. We're going to do the MVP of Speak No Evil. So I have mine. I don't want to butcher her name. Macken oh. Mackenzie Davis, Louise Dalton. The, the wife. Um, the wife. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was going to get James McAvoy, the, ac the actor. James McAvoy is just... Is such a great actor. When I see him and shit, I just like, dude, he does a great job. I, I agree with you on the on the. Wife. I give it to Louise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the the character. Yeah. I mean, I'm I was like this close to give it to the kids too, because the kids also like killed yeah. it. But like when I'm thinking about the whole movie as a whole, I really do think James McAvoy. Like even knowing about the remake and all that, James McAvoy makes this movie what it is. You know, yeah. like I don't know if that makes sense to y'all, but like James McAvoy is such a great actor, and like if he wasn't attached to this film, I don't think it'd be as good as no like as I, good as I it is I I, like he just makes this movie I, so it, was much a, better. it was a tough pick for me but i'm glad i mean we gotta have different choices Louise man. you guys through man you guys let us know in the comments below who you think the mvp is but like i really do think that james, james mcavoy gets it now we might have the same opinion on the anti-mvp the first unanimous anti-mvp for uh speak history. no evil yeah no we, no we've had it before but no but this was like we weren't even like done with the movie we were like 20 30 minutes still left and we're like we know who the anti -MVP no i is. told him i was like hey if this guy doesn't do what i think he's gonna do anti -MVP. Well, even then before that it was like yeah. we'll get into it later but uh ben yes his ben. name is ben right yeah i mean uh, now this, we know it's ben yeah uh, you want to know what his the actor's name is who scoot no i mean i'm not gonna get to the actor because i think <laughs> no, the actor no, know, his name is funny yeah <laughs> Yeah, I, I just want to let you know we're gonna fuck with his name, <laughs> but no, the the character Ben. ben. I thought spineless, no dog in him. No dog. He's not him. He's, He's not, not him. him. He's not locked in. No He's aura. I can, I can keep going. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I didn't feel his aura from like two movies ago. Yeah, like I was like, hey, I feel like no aura were coming up right now. No, you know what though? It makes sense because I do want to talk about the remake, but we'll talk about that in the spoilers because like the remake has a lot to talk about. Uh, but we'll talk about that later. So uh, the horny on the timeline award, play a play a. Let me give it to Patty and Sierra. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to them. I mean, obviously there were scenes that just like I was like, dude, they look like swingers. I mean, I don't care about that. Like, whatever, you know, you do whatever you want. But they were definitely horny on the timeline award. Yeah. Playa, playa. We do have the uh, theater experience, which we went together. Yeah, we went opening night. Our theater wasn't that packed. I don't, I don't think it was that. No, it, it, I mean it wasn't that packed, but it was so funny because we had a we had. A, things happening like simultaneously during our theater experience uh we had a couple right next to, not right next to us we were at the very top um at the very top there's like seats space seats space seats you know yeah. and then uh the middle oh, so we were on the and, right side yeah we were on yeah. the right side and then the middle side there was this couple and they were just they were making teenagers yeah i mean they were just making teenagers. out yeah uh, i'm like bro <laughs> like pay attention oh yes but they were really uh enjoying themselves they were rowdy yeah, yeah that's you know i've had to use one word to describe <laughs> it rowdy. i mean i'm just gonna say uh there was definitely this this theater was definitely uh enjoying themselves yeah i was expecting uh clapping at the end not gonna lie really i thought people were gonna get like clap for james mcavoy for james mcavoy yeah. No, I thought the people were gonna clap for the for the family. No, I was like, I don't know, man. These people they be wild then sometimes. They, they are wilding, but I I look. I, I just want to talk about the couple because like that was the first time I actually experienced this because like going to movies a lot. Like I I was that couple, right? Like I would go to the movies yeah, and then you know I kiss, know. make out, and then like now experiencing that, I'm like enjoy the movie, guys. Come on, what are we <laughs> what are we doing, bro? Enjoy the movie. That's that's all I gotta say. Cause, especially because it's a thriller. Like look, if it was a boring movie like Borderlands, I'm like yeah, make out, whatever. Yeah. But like bro. Oh, this movie has so much shit going on. You got to pay attention. Talk to him. Talk to him. And then uh, you did take that survey. I did. I got $10 out of it. So if you guys have go opening night, take the survey, get 10 bucks. I don't know if it all, because I didn't get it, bro. I've done that survey and I haven't gotten money. I get it all the time. I already had it. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's like I've done it before, like by myself and I haven't gotten shit. That's why I was like. I think you got to check your spam email. Maybe. Uh, me checks like <laughs> four, uh, six months expired, a ten dollars. I'm like, oh, well, shit, those yeah, paso. You got like seventy dollars worth of rewards. Imagine, expired. no, that's but what like, I used to buy my snacks. That was a uh, Rotten Tomato meters and Cinema Score. That's me. That's him. <laughs> cinema him. Score. We do have the money. 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 Uh, look, okay. So speaking of evil, uh, the budget. Uh, if you guys want to put a guess, put in the comments comments below. We don't have Daniel here, so it's a little hard to do, you know, my little guessing game. Like yeah, I, don't do the over-under, because that shit, like, especially with just me. But, okay, <laughs> so Speak No Evil, it was like, what, an hour and 40 minutes? Not a lot of CGI. I'm going to say 40 million. 40 million for this movie? 30. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say 30 is my final answer. Okay, you're still way over. <sighs> over? Yeah. 15? 15 million. Oh, uh, yeah. As soon as I said, as soon as he's away over, I was like, it's probably 15. Yeah. When you said 40, I was like, I love it. I love it. <laughs> no, I mean, it's just because inflation. Yeah, I guess. You know, a good number because uh, the movie right now is at, uh, so I'll give you the, the worldwide total. As of this recording, it's at 20.8 million worldwide, 9.3 internationally. And then, and then uh, domestically at 11 and a half. So it's pretty much made its money back. Yeah. So, I mean, it made the right choice. It like, even says on the article there was very minimal marketing. No. <laughs> Stop. You're lying to me. No, I'm for real. Minimal marketing, bro. Yeah. No, here's the thing, bro. The only thing. We didn't, really ever, we didn't really ever see any trailers. We or, did. That's a that's whole meme. Didn't. That's a whole meme. I didn't. Is that every time we went to the movies, this was the trailer. That's you, the thing, though. And the movies. I don't know. I, I this isn't one of those that I saw like on TikTok. No, I know. Uh, I know. I but see, like on Instagram, so, I didn't see it anywhere. I was talking to Jasmine about it, right? Because she went to watch the movie and we like talk about it and talked a, a little bit about it. The thing is that like we saw this trailer. Every single time we went to the movies, but like Venom 3, right? Venom 3, talking about Venom 3. When I watched this movie, this was the first time I ever saw a trailer for Venom 3. First time ever. It comes out next month, bro. I've been watching the trailer for Speak No Evil since January. You that's can't tell weird. me there's minimal... No, yeah, that's, that's weird. You... Because I, I'm the opposite. I've seen trailers for Venom 3 since like the last two months i know you lying well because they're sponsored by ufc so why you lying oh i mean i guess we're different demo demographics yes i don't know bro i just 
Even I've, you're saying you just said it. You see it when you go to the theaters. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the movie you see. The yeah, but no evil. like if it really was heavily marketed, you'd see it like everywhere outside. I don't know. I mean, okay. The Either guys, way, the hardcore cinema files. Either way, potential for a sequel. Oh, mm, money, money talks. I there. Think I mean, is. we'll talk about the sequel. I don't. It's got a respectable score, and it's gonna make its money back. They're gonna find a way to make a sequel. We'll, <laughs> we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. But should they go watch this movie? I think they should watch it in theaters. I agree with him. The only reason why I think they should go watch it in theaters, I mean, I think they should go watch a lot of movies in theaters, but this is a good thriller horror movie that like really gets you going in the movie theaters. I don't know if he saw me in theaters, bro. I was edge of my seat. The thing with watching this type of movie at home, mm -hmm. you get easily distracted and then you just lose all momentum. The, this is the type of movie, guys, I'm telling you right now that the mo momentum counts because you get, you gotta get scared and you gotta get thrilled. Yeah, right? there's a buildup to it. There's, there's yeah, a there's buildup. Build so if you miss even one step of the buildup, yeah, the momentum's gone. Momentum's gone. You're not gonna care about this movie, and like you need to watch it in theaters. I think so. Yeah. Agree. Yeah, I think it's a great movie. That it's brings us to the uh, sponsor of today's video. That's Pop. That's us. Oh, it is us, <laughs> baby. Uh, if you guys are watching this through video, make sure you guys like, comment. Um, YouTube, you know, it's a big, really big uh, platform for us. We already have 1,500 subscribers. Thank you to every one of you guys who are subscribers to our channel. We appreciate it a lot. But if watching a video isn't your thing, you guys can also uh, listen to us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And make sure you leave us five stars on there. It really does mean a lot for us. Yeah. Another thing about YouTube, we do daily polls on there. Interact with our polls. Go vote. Guys, it means a lot to us. It really does. So thank you very much for everybody who listens to us, watches us. It means a lot. Uh, we want to be your movie, guys. We do. That means that you guys are watching movies every single week. Or maybe you guys are waiting a little bit to watch the movie. But still, you know, I have AMC. You have Regal. Angel, oh, I mean, Daniel used to be like half and half. I switched them over. I know, you <laughs> you bitch. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. But that does bring us to the sponsor. Or no. <laughs> the spoiler zone, <laughs> the baby. The spoiler zone. Wait, 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 wait. He's pushed it. <laughs> Get, you're like the sponsor. I'm like, no, it's a uh, little, little, <laughs> he little. Forgot, little. He forgot the next bit. Yeah. The pacing. What did you think about it? We talked about this. Hey, we watched this movie together. We, I mean, we talked about it a little bit, but... I think that's what hurts the movie from a B to an A. The first 20 to 30 minutes, we did not need that whole Italy vacation to be that long. You know what pisses me off is that we disagreed on this. I told them, I was like, this is the type of movie that you need that build up, right? You need that slow moment. Like the moment from where they're meeting the family and they're like trying to get them to come over to like... They weren't even trying to get them to come over. Yeah, they were like, you should come over. No. You saw James. Macaboy, he was like, it "Hey, you should visit us at a farm." <laughs> yeah, and then it cuts to the uh, apartment in yeah. London, so like it kind of like throws you off. I'm just saying that whole Italy vacation mm. could have been shortened. No, or they could have if they were gonna make it that long, throw something in there. They did though. Here's the thing, right? So like when they're in London, the wife is like skeptical on it, but finally tells him, "Yeah, I'll do it for you." And then later on, you find out why she's doing it for him. Yeah, right, because like you find out that she was like doing some shit that was a little disloyal to him and you're like oh that makes sense why she caved so fast she's like you know what we'll go visit them for you because it seems like you really have a great relationship with patty you know and that's why i was like i thought the build-up to this movie was great because you're kind of wondering why the wife kept like letting the husband like they take the whole like relationship with patty and that family with agnes and all them well no agnes is the the girl. The girl uh, with... Uh, Sierra. Sierra, right? Patty and Sierra, right? You just skipped over what I said completely. No, what? I said the whole first like montage of Italy, it could have been shortened. No, I know, but I didn't skip over that because I'm telling you that I don't think you could have skipped over it because you need you need that those moments to realize who this family is, right? But that's ben what I'm saying, and like, uh Ben and his wife, what's his wife's name? Louise. Like you need to realize who they are, right? They're pushovers. Well, I don't think uh Louise is a pushover, but you gotta realize what Ben is, right? Oh, Ben is <laughs> we'll talk about that. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about Ben. We gave uh, Ben the anti MVP for good reason. For good reason. But Very good reasons. Okay, okay. So I, here's I, a, here's a, like that whole Italy scene. Most of it was them making fun of that Danish couple. Yeah. But like it should have been more like, oh, hey, we hung out with uh, Patty and Sierra. And there was like some red flags. There were red flags, but there were also green flags, like for Ben. For Ben, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and that's what I'm saying. For Ben, there was green flags, and the reason why Louise some come so easily was because she did some shit that she shouldn't have. And like for her, she was like, oh, let me 
please him right and we'll we'll go on this vacation we'll go on like to help him out and that's why i felt like the pacing was good like for me the pacing was good how do you think they've even found their address oh they t- probably told him they tried talks you think so yeah that's well, weird. i mean i do want to talk about this before we get on a little bit too fast this is a remake I don't yes. know if you know this. Yes. Do you know when the original movie came out? I don't. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. But I remember seeing that. Like when I Googled it, it came up with two. So I knew yeah. immediately. It was like, let, let me. Uh, this is a fun fact that a lot of people are not going to know. Guess when the remake, when the original film came out. When do you think? This century. Okay. When? Uh, get Put a year out there. 2001. That's really off. <laughs> and you're gonna be surprised when it came out go for it 2022 oh wow two years ago bro it, the original uh, came yeah, out this century yeah <laughs> and uh i, I want to tell you how the, that ending well we'll talk about the ending right now for speaking no evil because the two endings are very dramatically different and a lot of people were like oh they should have kept the ending the same from the original mm-hmm. and i'm i'm on the opposite end i'm like oh i'm really glad they had this ending can you guess how the original ended it's different from the from this one. So this one, they drive off the farm. They're going back home. I'm guessing in the original, they take over for Patty and Sierra. Like Patty and Sierra win? No, no, no. Like they kill Patty and Sierra, but then Ben and Louise become Patty and Sierra. <sighs> You're wrong, bro. So in the original, Patty and Sierra, they win, right? Mm-hmm. They uh, So pretty much what happens was pushes the kid, they come back, and then they have them like gunpoint, and then they drive them to a uh, quarry, right? And Ben is crying right he's like crying he's sobbing he's like i don't want to die and then he dies and that's how it ends so it, it ends with them dying and uh it's a very bleak ending right yeah. obviously because they uh patty nothing, yeah well, they're dead that's yeah, yeah they're dead they're dead they kill him uh they take over the daughter and that's how the films now for you do you think that's a what do you think of that ending that's a bleak ending you're they're dead then what else where do you go from there no i know i know but a lot of people were saying this movie it is a copy and paste right like it is yeah. i don't know if you i haven't watched the original but i i read a bunch of articles i've like seen a lot of things i've even watched a trailer for the original right it is copy and paste of the original up until the ending like the them screaming to the uh uh you know like when they're screaming uh ah, yeah. yeah yeah and then all that shit that's like like them having that dinner at the right next to the uh ocean ocean yeah so it's all the same right it, is it a satisfying for ending for you for them winning or for them losing who uh the the family the family that's not part of patty ben and, and louise yeah no 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 patty and wait you want are you asking if I wanted Patty and Sierra to win? Yes. No, I wanted them to lose. Exactly. And that's why a lot of people were kind of mad because they were like, this is in the original movie where they win. For me, I really like that they won because like, obviously you already know that a lot of families went through this shit and they lost. So eventually somebody has to win, right? Eventually they have to get caught. And like, for me, the bleak ending doesn't make sense because you could have just done that with any other family, you know? Yeah. And I think Louise and Agnes are the type of characters that, like, they push through and they persevered. Even if Ben, whatever Ben does, like, you know, like, we'll talk about Ben. But I just <laughs> want to talk about the original film. Because the original film, like, has them just going to the quarry and they're crying. They're like, huh, I'm going to fucking die. And then they die. Yeah. And that's it. And I'm like. That's what I'm saying. And where I, do you go I, from there? I get it. To, yeah, yeah. Where do you go from there? And it's a bleak ending and they lose, blah, 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 whatever. But I like this movie because you see the side that wins you know and yeah. that that's the side that you want to see how many days did they end up spending there a weekend three was it four? the weekend three, it was three i yeah. counted three yeah three days, three three days. Nights. but i just i just want to talk about the original because the original they do they lose and they lose bad <sighs> So the, so even the kid that they have, the one that they cut the tongue out, he doesn't do shit, right? Like, he's just, like, a bystander. But this movie, he's a badass. He's, like, trying to help out. And in that movie, he's, like, he doesn't do anything and they, like, lose. That's why I really like this movie because, like, at the end of the day, you want to see them win. And that's the, that's the type of movie you want to see. Like, you're not going to see a movie to... Uh, I mean, yeah, like, Infinity War and stuff like that, like, you see, you see the villain win. But, like, in this type of movie where there's really... No, I mean no stakes, but like you're not expecting a sequel until now. Until now, I'm I'm just saying <laughs> because uh, because that's a big thing about the original is that do they lose and they lose bad like the Ben is sobbing. You know what's so funny? The tropes, what? the tropes. Oh my god, I love these. Talk tropes. to me. Like we make fun of them. It's to the point where we've watched so many movies mm-hmm. that these tropes repeat themselves so much. Dude, they had four cha- four at. At least four or five chances to leave that farm. You know what's so funny? In the original, it happens too. Like, uh, Patty does the same thing. It's like, you left without saying goodbye? 
And it happens in the original too. And I'm like, bro, uh, we, we talked about it so many times. So as Mexicans, as like non-white people, bro, I would have not even gone to the farm to begin with, right? Uh, when I meet somebody like outside, I'm like, hey, good to meet you. Probably never seen you again. Yeah. Probably. Louise, Louise was the voice of reason the whole time. Yeah. She's like, I don't think we should go. Yeah. And the only reason she went is because, uh, you know, she felt bad. So she yeah. folded. So uh, Louise cheated on, uh, mentally cheated, emotionally cheated. She was texting maybe. another man. And, and so she, she felt like she has to go for Ben. Yeah. And whatever. It is what it is. But like me personally, you would not catch me at a farm of a stranger. The fact. So there was a scene. You know, they leave the farm and they're pretty far from the farm. And the little girl, Agnes, her whole thing is that she gets panic attacks if she doesn't have her stuffed animal. And there was twice that this happened, right? Yeah. She didn't have her stuffed animal the first time and they go back and grab it. And then the second time is when they figured out that Patty is like this sociopath or whatever. And they're like, oh, it's up there. And I would have been like, that's great. That's crazy. <laughs> get in the car. Let's get, get the, the car. fuck out. Get out. <laughs> or even the fact that like right before that scene, Walk out to the car. Oh, no, we got a flat tire. Drive. <laughs> Just drive. <laughs> drive. No, but here's the thing, though. They helped fix the tire, which I mean. Oh, I wouldn't have taken the, uh, I would have been like, oh, no, it's yeah. cool. I'll fix it when I get home. <sighs> There's so many. Mo uh, look, here's the thing, uh, which is the difference between us and Ben. Ben is just a uh, bitch. Yes. To put it lightly. Um, soft. Soft. A bitch. Uh, what's that mean? Like a bitch. You know what I'm talking Pretty about? Pretty boy. Pretty boy. A bitch, soft. soft. Uh, that's soft. bad. Yeah, they're talking. About, they're talking about like a basketball player. Yeah, I know, I know the meme. Oh, okay. But um, no, dude. Look, so when uh, they go to get the, he has no dog in him, no aura. <laughs> we we brought this up. Yeah, dude. There was just so many things that he did wrong. Like, bro, grab that hammer when they go into the shed because they're gonna like get supplies to uh, fix the broken tire, or whatever. There's a hammer right there. And he stares at it. Yeah, and I'm like, bro, put it, put it somewhere. You know, like and knock Under him out. Under your shirt, stuff it, something. Dude. Like as soon as you knock out. John James McAvoy, the wife, is going down. What is she gonna do? You're a, you're a man. Like, look, I'm not saying that like girls can't like, but like at the end at of the point, day, it's two on one. Yeah, or three. You got Agnes and the kid. You yeah. got you're three on one at that point. You got two kids, uh, uh, the girl and the. But like, bro, I don't know, dude. Ben was completely useless. No, here's the thing, right? At the, okay, so at the, at the point that you know, do you assume that they know that you know? right like I, I feel like you should assume you you have to assume that they know that you yeah. know right and that like like things are happening there's a point where they get in the car and i would tell the boy hey get the fuck get in because you're in the car at that point what are you gonna do like there was a scene where we like were like preach sister when louise and ben are fighting mm -hmm. after they come back and uh louise is like why the f don't you stand up to him like you do to me yeah bro and what do you think that is? Because he doesn't have the dog in him. He doesn't have the dog in him. No, bro. He, he I think the he, whole movie he folded to um, Patty. The whole movie. And I have a favorite quote. My all-time favorite quote from uh, from this movie, which I've seen in other movies. So there's another movie where um, it's about a break-in into a house, and the family's like, "Why did you choose us?" And they're like, "It's because you were home, right?" And that's like the whole point of the movie. That sometimes it's just bad luck. If someone were to come in here right now. It would just be shitty luck. It yeah. Here. And uh, the same thing happened. So Ben asked Patty, why us? Or like, what, why? And then he's like, because you let us. You let us. And that's a whole. Th so that's a whole theme of the movie, right? This whole family lets him do it, right? They let them. Uh, Louise lets them uh, makes makes her eat meat or whatever, right? They let them sleep in a shitty place. They let them uh, do a bunch of shit. They let them uh, like do uh, oral sex in front of them, right? Or or play at oral yeah. sex, right? So like, there's a lot of uh, oh, you let us they're do this. Pushovers. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're pushovers, pushovers, pretty much. At the end of the day, right? Even Louise, for as tough as she was, she's some. Somewhat of a push a little bit, a little bit, right? Because she she ate the fucking meat and yeah. she's a vegetarian. And at the end of the day, they're pushovers, right? And like, I'm not saying I'm not pushover because sometimes, like, it, it's true, right? Like, sometimes you do things because it's uh, in society, it's right, right? Like, you don't want to, like, I'm at work, I'm not gonna push, yeah. whatever, right? Like, I'm like, okay, whatever, customer, you whatever. Uh, not when I'm on shift. No, I mean, same. <laughs> uh, I'm usually, but like, sometimes it doesn't matter. Like, for me, like, you gotta ga gauge it, right? Yeah, it's the severity of it, yeah. yeah. Um, but with that, I'm like, bro, like, your wife over Patty? No, Patty over your wife. 
Oh yeah, yeah, patty over your wife. Yeah, <laughs> but like still, like I'm like probably like I don't know. There's just a lot Even of moments. Even the scene where they're on the beach house having mm-hmm. dinner, and then Patty and Louise get into it about the uh, sustained fish and everything, mm-hmm. and Patty's like, "You're actually not really making a difference." No, but it's nice that you're thinking that you are. And uh, but that I, whole scene, Louise was trying to fight, and Ben was like, "Let it go, let it go." It's like, dude, like read the room. Like your wife is getting like annihilated. Annihilated. Yeah. Like at some point, you do let um. Things go. Things go. Like societal norms. I'm like, eh, you can have this. I don't really give a shit. So like at some point, I'm like, maybe I could be in that situation in like some form. Cause like for me, I'm like, it's not that big of a deal. I don't really give a shit. Like, why the fuck am I gonna fight you over this? But Ben really, we talked about it, dude. So I told him at some point, I was like, either Ben, because there, there's a point in the movie where he's shooting at Fox and he misses. I'm like, no, he either he never even shoots. Yeah, he never shoots. And I'm like, either Ben gets a shot at the end and he shoots or he doesn't. And I'm like really disappointed if he doesn't. And he, he didn't. Doesn't. Even before that, Louise literally saved his life. Yeah, bro. He froze, man. Oh, when uh, he's hitting the when guy. He, well, he, before that. He's he, in the closet. He's in the closet, and he sees the guy. He's got the hammer, yeah. and he, like, he takes one of those, like, like nervous breaths. So the guy, like, realizes, yeah. like, someone's here. And then he tries. He gets beaten, and Louise comes and saves him. And, and I'm like. like <laughs> about to get stabbed in the eye with glass. I'm like, Louise Ben, what are, we do- what are we doing, Ben? Even it's, the kid had more. Yeah, balls, bro. More I balls. mean, the kid, uh, both kids, right? They, they're the ones that figured, I mean, the, obviously the kid knew what was going on, but he told the, the other child, Agnes, and like they both figured it out, told the parents. But Ben, bro, Ben the whole fucking way through, disappointment. No dog in him. Even like coming, did he fall off the roof? Yeah, I remember he broke his ankle. Even that, I'm not giving him points. No. No, I'm he didn't have to do that. I don't think he had to do that. No, like, Ben the whole way through is just a bitch. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like just to put it in layman ma- layman terms, he's a bitch. He doesn't have the dog in him. He never had the dog in him. Honestly, anybody else in that situation, like being in the house by themselves, like with people coming in, they would have survived better. Like they, like you know, like even Louise was on the roof and hit uh, Sierra, Sierra. Uh, over the head. Right, like that was the whole surprise. Like she was like, I got you, and then, cool. and Ben was like, I'm like, bro, Ben, what are you doing? He was just standing there, like, rifle pointed at him. Yeah, I'm like, mm. Like, dude, come on. Embarrassment, bro. He's just pissing me off. What did you think they were going to do to uh, Agnes when he was getting ready to tranquilize her? Oh, I mean, the same thing. Cut, cut her, her tongue? Cut, cut her tongue. Okay, so <clears throat> in the original film, they cut her tongue. Mm-hmm. They cut her tongue. They kill all the parents. And, like, that's the movie. And um, that's, wh- that's what kind of pisses me off is that, I mean, I get that, like, the original movie, like, it's supposed to be bleak. Like, you're supposed to be, like nothing matters you're dead whatever but like for me those kind of movies i'm like i don't it depends because like the thing is that it's a copy and paste of the movie right Mm -hmm. so i don't know if you felt like the themes of this movie were leading up to a bleak ending do you you feel like it was a bleak ending no i felt like i mean i felt like they were gonna lose i was like that would be the only like satisfying ending for patty and sierra to lose right patty and sierra to lose I want to no- talk about Sierra. She uh, she she pulled this move once. Once uh, they were in the shed and they win, take over, take over. She's like, "Take me with you. I'm a victim." I was the first one. Do you believe it? Cap, major cap, major cap. Yeah. Wasn't in any of the pictures. And uh, I'm the type of person the that would have said something. For me, I'm like major cap. Yeah. Anyways, boom. Boom. Gone. <laughs> Next. I'm not taking you with me. I'm sorry. Fucking uh, coincidence that the motherfucker comes in as soon as they're about to leave. But whatever. I digress. It's a movie. Uh, the Mountain Man. You know, they're oh, about to leave. Yeah. And the reason they don't get out is because the Mountain Man shoots at the fucking window and the window doesn't break. As soon as the window doesn't break, I would keep going. Yeah. You have a car. He's not in the car. Fucking ran him over. Dude, the fact that they stopped. They stopped the car on the inside of the gate. Yeah. When they push uh, the little boy into the water. Stop it, like, right next to the gate. No, then- g- leave the fucking gate and then hop the fucking gate to go yeah. back to the kid. Because the ki- <sighs> there's so many points in this movie where I'm like, look, I get it. It's part of the trope where I hard. Like, you make bad decisions, but, like, there's so many bad decisions in this movie. It's terrible. Going back for the fucking... Bear. Just to please your daughter, and you know these like people are kind of weird. I'm like, hey, you can fucking cry on the plane. I don't give a shit. We're leaving because like that happens in the original too, where they're like, you left without saying goodbye, you know? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I left without saying goodbye. My, I don't know, dude. I just. Do you think he's actually a doctor? He is a doctor. Why? You don't think he's a doctor? No. You think he lied? I think he lied. You think he would lie on the internet like that? I think people do. Uh, no, I think he is a. Doctor was. to an extent. Was. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think he was doctor certified or whatever. 
do you think I I think Sierra to a point if that's her name I, you just say names just to say them I think to a point that she's um she's a victim to a point to to like an extent Do you think she's just gotten so brainwashed Yeah it's just she's gotten so brainwashed to the point that like she that's all the life that she knows but I do think she's the first right like the first not really the first but like the first that like he like introduced to this lifestyle and he's she's like fuck it like I don't know anything else you know Yeah but like at the at, at some point you're not the victim anymore. Like you're the enabler, and you gotta yeah. like you know like at some point I'm like I don't feel sorry for you. I don't like the original film just because like in this film you see the amount of luggage and see amount of families that like got got. Yeah. That like at some that point that took you a while to catch. You were like, what is that? And I was like, dude, that's all luggage. Oh. That's from other people. No, but I guess the, I guess the uh, I guess the plot twist. So the major plot twist of Speak No Evil, if you guys don't know, I I guess it right away. I was like, that kid is not theirs. I told you that from the beginning. I was like, that kid's probably not theirs, and they probably want to get um, Agnes for for themselves. You know? Oh, that was obvious. That was so obvious, like throughout the whole. Like, was it though? Because do you dude, look? You look at me. Sierra kept uh, parenting, and even Louise brought yeah. it up. She's like. Why are you parenting my kid? Like, stop parenting my kid. No, no, I get that. But I'm saying that you didn't get that that kid wasn't theirs. And, like, for me, I got that. Oh, not that. But, like, I got that they were trying to get. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was obvious. But, like, I got the I got the not so obvious twist where that kid wasn't theirs. And I was like, I don't think that kid's theirs. And I think they've done this before. And, like, I told you that during the movie. And, like, I just want to put that out there. I got it right. That's all yeah. I want to know. Fact check. Fact check. Sequel. Do you think so? I think it gets a sequel just because of the money. What type of sequel? Because they're dead. Honestly, Both of them. I would Both like, I, I would like a, a prequel. Oh. Like their first one. So the only reason why I do want a prequel to this movie is because the original has them winning. And like you want to see them winning. You know, you yeah. want to see that bleak future. Like, oh shit. And like that bleak future with that kid. With family, you know, like oh shit, because that kid looked like he was a rebel in that in that photo, you know, yeah. like the sticking his tongue out. He was like, Fuck it looked out. like uh, silver teeth vibes. Man. Yes, bro. <laughs> and like you want to see that movie of him, like shit, like I got got, and he's like the only one trying to do shit, and his family's not, you know, yeah. like the kid's like fuck, like there's something wrong here. I'm trying to like survive, but his family's like, yeah, we're just on vacation. A prequel would be in the works yeah. if they were to make a sequel. I don't. I don't think they would though. I think this is a very one-off movie. One, yeah, this this I'm, movie. This, I'm telling you, dude. I I keep saying this for every review. It's all about the money these days. It is about the money because like Smile Two is coming out. The money is there, and the reviews are good. Yeah. I, if maybe the reviews bombed, if the movie bombed review wise, critic wise. Yeah. I maybe. A this is the type of thing Trap wanted but couldn't get. Exactly. And now uh, speaking of Evil God, and they're like, yeah, maybe we do do a prequel because the sequel. I think you need James McAvoy. For this like 100%. he's he made the movie 100 yeah. percent. he made the movie and it I, would be weird to just cast somebody else as patty even if it's like a well not family. not patty but like another family that's oh that's what i'm saying like if I, it's a if it's a prequel it has to be patty and sierra oh yeah of course but you think they would make a sequel a prequel no no like a sequel like after oh the no no yeah, yeah it has that, to be a prequel yeah, it has to be a prequel mm -hmm. yeah well, anyways, guys, that was our review of Speak No Evil starring James McAvoy. Let us know down below in the comments. Are you going to watch this movie in theaters? Are you going to watch it at home? Or are you just not going to watch it at all? As always, we'll see you guys next time. Adios.